A decision today in a high-profile case south of our border, the U.S. Supreme Court ruling in favor of a Colorado baker who refused to make a wedding cake for a same-sex couple because of religious beliefs. Justices today voting 7-2 in what's described as a narrow victory. Now, that word narrow appearing in a flood of headlines about this decision followed by some criticism, including from Donald Trump Jr., who tweeted, I'm reading about a 7-2 vote. Pretty sure that's not narrowly. At least two Democratic-leaning justices must have agreed. But the word narrow in this case isn't about the number of votes, because it could have been closer. Instead, it's about the scope of the decision. Now, as NBC News justice correspondent Pete Williams puts it, the ruling is a ticket for one ride only. Have a listen. This is a victory for the baker, but what the Supreme Court says here is because of the peculiarities of his specific case, he wins, but the court doesn't answer the larger questions here, which is what about some other baker or florist or person who prints wedding invitations or is a DJ at a wedding? Do they have a First Amendment right to refuse to serve same-sex couples because it would violate their religious principles? The baker is Jack Phillips. Before his case went to the Supreme Court, the Colorado Civil Rights Commission found that Phillips violated that state's anti-discrimination law when he refused to make a wedding cake for same-sex couple David Mullins and Charlie Craig. But today, the Supreme Court ruled that the commission's decision violated the baker's rights, saying it had shown a hostility to religion. Phillips, a conservative Christian, had also argued creative artists have a right to decide what they sell. Some analysis coming from German Lopez with Vox, who writes, the ruling is very focused on the individual facts of this particular case, so it doesn't set much of a precedent for future similar cases. So despite losing in this particular instance, LGBTQ advocates have avoided a ruling that they feared could set a bad national standard for LGBTQ rights nationwide. Something to watch for appeals that are pending for similar cases, including one from a Washington florist who refused to provide flowers for a same sex wedding. The florist appealing to the U.S. Supreme Court to hear her case.